<laughs> we're fucking sitting at a table and this fool's like, you see those girls in line? I'm just like, yeah. And he's just like, about to invite him over. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just like, okay. And then like he just gets up, disappears for ten minutes, comes back, he's like, they're coming. <laughs> <laughs> that is a car. What's up, trailer gang? What's up, trailer gang? Trailer gang, welcome back to another podcast. Before this episode started, it was uh, we had a little bit of fucking crazy shit that just happened uh, with Burke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. You want to explain a little bit what what went down, Burke? Um. Let me read that uh, one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm kind of like, lost some words right now, but uh, so basically, what I, as you guys know, Burke's thing is that sometimes he simps over Dixie. We talked about it for a while. Sometimes it's a little while. Uh, we, we, we we've spent a good amount of time looking for help, but we haven't found any yet. Mm -hmm. And so for right now, like he's still he's still simping a little bit, you know. And it it's been a struggle. It's been distracting. It affects his work, but you know what. <laughs> Maybe today ends it all. It low key blows. Yeah. It blows up his work though. Oh, for sure. Him simping definitely gets beat. Like Berkeley had what, like twenty k on TikTok, and then he started posting videos about Dixie, and he got no. Him. That's fact. That's fucking no. It's not fact. That's false. I mean, the video he just showed me had the most likes that I've seen so far. Thank no, you. I'll show you another one right fucking now. Yeah. No, no, I mean, there's no, no need to because we all just we all know who you really are. We all know oh your true colors. God. So before we jump into this uh, episode, we have an exciting guest today. I do want to say it's gonna be an interesting episode. I'm gonna be here for. We just totally just left them on a cliffhanger. Oh, we're gonna, nah, get, yeah, we're gonna yeah. get right into yeah, it. We'll I just want to say no, before we jump in, make sure you guys subscribe, hit the notification bell. We're on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Uh, I am later in this episode gonna have to jump off. I'm gonna throw Chris in here. I have to. <laughs> I know I have to jump on a. a a, a call late, a little later, but it's gonna be an exciting episode to see what happens. But today we have a special guest. You know, we start off every episode with a high class member saying, "Fuck hype, sway for life." Okay. Welcome. We got Ryan Storm on the podcast. Fuck hype, sway for life. Hey, go. Go. Hey. What's going on, man? Vibing. Vibing. Yeah, I really like the shirt. You got the full send shirt on. Yeah, half yeah. send. Half send. Yeah. <laughs> so what? Shots fired. Yeah. So like we we're just talking about this. Bert simps for Dixie, and that's kind of been like a well-known thing. And so you heard about this right before we started her hit. Hit record, and you're like, oh, I gotta make something happen. Like, what would what, you do for Burke? I just Facetime Daisy. <laughs> yeah, it's it's nothing that big, but yeah. like, it's, it's pretty fucking big. I'm not gonna lie. But it's, they're just they're friends, so it's like it makes sense. But from your perspective, it's like, oh, I'm gonna sit down, so I'm gonna write, write a podcast, and then suddenly we're, we're calling Daisy. Yeah, that uh, is kind of crazy. Burke, I can tell Burke is still feeling. Yeah, he's feeling fucking like, shaking all the time. Burke is stoked right now. I, yeah, that was pro. Was that like top five best things that's happened to you in your life? I think that was the best thing that's ever happened. No, I'm sorry. Oh my god. I'm joking. 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 i it's just because I'm telling you, he's literally gotten all of his followers on TikTok. That's fucking. Don't even finish that sentence because that's literally the most cap thing I've ever heard in my entire life. How? You get you got like the most okay, I, videos are those. No, it's not. No, really? that's cap. Really? My 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 whatever it was like. I got a tattoo, whatever. That had two point eight million. I bet you the top comment. And said simp, dude. It still relates yeah, to the fact that you're a simp. Yeah, and I called you a simp. I, 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 I turned around like your tattoo looked like you. You were a fucking simp. I, I don't know. I'm saying like, he's getting famous off being a fucking sin. Okay. I mean, if it works, it I works, know. my guy. <laughs> you guys know what she's coming with no bag. Okay? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Fuck. Berkeley has the curly hair for it. So, so I mean, I guess going into it. I mean, from from that, but I guess just talking about how we met you in the first place. We we were at we were at someone's house, and uh, and Berkeley thought that he got your phone number. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. And the number was, it was Stormy or was something? Stormy. Which, which, is, that, is that a nickname for you? My last name is Storms. Yeah, so, yeah. so do people call you Stormy? No. Okay, okay. so, so I, I totally thought that like, you put your name in as Stormy because like, I remember you having like, you putting your number in my phone and I was like, Ryland Storms, it's not here. And I was like, maybe Storm? Stormy maybe? And then Stormy came up and I was like, fuck, okay, so I'm gonna text him and see if he wants to come on the podcast. And some random ass fucking dude 
And they had a whole conversation with me, and it was the weirdest fucking conversation. He was planning on coming. Yeah, no, I saw the conversation. I it's was like, weird. It, no, it's fucked up because it's like something like, I was like, that could have been me. I don't know. Like, it's like <laughs> the conversation looked like it. I, it's some shit I would have said. Yeah. Well, he just, he was only responding to you in gifs. We're like, Rylan is the weirdest texter ever. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're like, what is up with this kid? Is he like, want to come on, not come on? He was throwing mixed signals out. Yeah. Yeah. Read, you want to read some stuff? Oh, yeah, let, let, let's let's just see. see because it's I don't honestly, it's fucking hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was pretty well, this guy was, he was planning on coming. Like, yeah. he was, like, yeah. like Berkeley sent him our address. He was planning on showing up at 2 p.m. on like Tuesday or something. Yeah. And then he like texts us an hour before. He's like, yeah. So I go, I go, yo, it's Bert from the sink. When are you free to hop on the podcast? And Stormy, quote, uh, text, never. And then sends a gif of, uh, we can just pop it up. It goes, never. <laughs> like, again. <laughs> it's a GIF. Who's the GIF of? It's the GIF of the, the witch from uh, the Wicked Wisp. Oh, <laughs> from, uh, from Wizard of Oz. Yeah, okay. yeah. And then, he, and then he, I go, okay, sound. I'm like, okay, bet. So this Thursday at 2 p.m., sound good? And he goes, if I even wanted to go, a gift, even if I wanted to go, my schedule wouldn't allow it. And I'm just like, so okay, he's so fucking he, with, he's me. Fuck with me. Yeah. He's fucking with me. But honestly, knowing you for a little bit, this totally sounds like something. Yeah, no, like, like, I would fucking do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so then I go, okay, okay, I don't know where you get these gifts, uh, gifts from, but the White Claws and Darts will be waiting for you on Thursday at 2 p.m. And then he go, I'm like, let's do this. And he goes, perfect, I'll be there. I'm like... Alright, so it was him, <laughs> so let's run it, and then I realized, I, I, I saw him at Saddle the other night, and I go, hey, are you ready for this pop, or no, I saw him at, yeah, where, yeah, 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 you saw him. I saw him at Saddle the other night, and I was like, hey, you coming on, on Thursday, and he goes, wait, well, you never texted me, and I was like, fuck, what? <laughs> and I was like, dude, this is Who not showed you, up to my house? <laughs> yeah, like, so this is not you? And he's like, no, it's not me. I was like, oh, are you down to come on? He's like, yeah. And we were just like so fucking confused because it wasn't even him at all. And it was who was like, that? You know that it's face time. Face time. It was just yeah. Who's gay as fuck? Yeah. Like yeah, just this forty year old gay guy. Yeah, yeah forty year old gay guy. Actually, yeah, yeah. That might be interesting. You might find out. Might have that <laughs> well, long. I think like, we have him on with you, and we're just like yeah. So we're just trying to figure out who the real round is. What's going yeah. on? That would have been hilarious. I would have for that. Well, well, before you slept through our podcast with you that day, he um, <laughs> <laughs> before you slept through our podcast that day, we we were thinking that you guys. We're gonna pull up at the same time. Yeah. So we were we were low key trying to like see if something would happen, but then you just kind of fucked it up. Yeah. Slept through it. I mean, you guys scheduled it a little early. Oh, yeah. Two p.m. Yeah. We've learned since coming down here that like not everyone's up like super super early and just get going and make podcasts. Yeah. yeah. We've been pushing him back, but like because this man wakes us makes us wake up at eight thirty in the morning every day. So I mean, fuck. We have shit to do. Shut the fuck up, Kyle. Well, like, okay, so uh, we had Nick on a little earlier, and I know that you guys grew up together, you guys were really close, and I did some research, it turns out you guys met in an eighth grade campfire. Yeah. And I was just thinking back to all the, like, all of our campfires happened at his house, but, like, do you want to explain kind of the backstory of that? Um, that was, like, the thing, because we were too young to, like, party, yeah. so like, our parents couldn't know, sh like, anything that we were doing, and we could have fires at the beach. And I yeah. lived across from the beach, and my dad was, like, the only chill dad, and so was Nick's parents. So we would just have parties at the fucking beach. Right? Yeah, okay. yeah. So like, I literally met Nick from a girl that I talked to in middle school. It was like freshman year, and then that girl brought him because they were like dating. And Nick's he like ended up staying for a long, long time. His friends, his friend that brought him left him. This is my first time ever meeting the kid, and then he had nowhere to like. He's like, my mom can't pick me up. Uber's not a thing at the time. Like. I have nowhere to go, and I was like, you can stay at my house, like, fuck it. He ended up staying at my house for, like, a week and a half. Hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, literally a week and a half, we just, like, never, like, like we just hung out every day ever since. That's awesome. That's crazy. I mean, like, that's the thing about, like, people that, you know, make, are living the hype house, make TikToks for a long time. People think you guys came together as just, like, talent. You guys grew up together and you oh, built yeah. something from the ground up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No one understands that. No. I mean, I think that that's, I mean, I didn't go to that many campfires, but that's where it was all in Kyle's backyard. And that's where we're, I think a lot of okay, like, but getting the first closer. campfire you ever came to, you brought the oh big fuck. bag of meth to his house. Okay, wait. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll get all back. Let's this. get into it. Yeah. Kyle has more. So like, so, so you could. So Breaking Bad was was the show at the time, peak. right? And it was at its peak, like season eight just got released or something. And the crystal meth, like, the like, blue like crystal have you watched? Have you watched? Yeah, Breaking Bad? So, so like the blue crystal meth, you could you could you could make yourself, because like a candy shop 
in it's like rock candy. Oh, yeah, candy, yeah, like it's rock, rock, rock candy, right? Yeah. So you can make it yourself. So Kai, being the fucking jolly old fellow that he is, he shows up to my house with literally like a kilo of fake crystal meth. <laughs> okay, they said bring food. That they said like a potluck. He, and and I was like, like I'm bring, bring crystal, crystal meth rock candy. We were like thir- 14. Yeah. A kilo 13. of it in individual bags. Oh, but they looked real though. That's that's, that's what I'm that's saying. Honestly, hard as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so this one girl there, she tells her mom saying, oh, they flip. I don't know if somebody brought crystal meth here or if it's fake." So then my mom gets a call. She's like, like the other mom calls. She's like, "Why the fuck is there crystal meth at your house?" <laughs> yeah. And my mom's like, "What the f- like? What the fuck is happening right now?" To to a point to where. Like, I don't know, I feel like kids in high school are smoking or drinking. Yeah. Crystal meth's doing, pretty yeah. hard. Like, <laughs> crystal meth's pretty... And Kai shows up literally a brick of kiss, of crystal meth. A brick. Yeah. So fucked. It was fucked. It was good, though, right? It was good. It was, it was like <laughs> straight sugar. It was sugar. So like, I wouldn't have trusted it. Oh, really? I wouldn't have trusted it. I would have been like, this motherfucker actually brought crystal meth. <laughs> okay, we were like, play. yeah, we were like 13, and I was like... I was like, there's no way this is actually crystal meth. I was like, oh yeah, I was playing up a little bit. It was too. literally just straight fucking sugar. The yeah. best part is, is that he showed up with like, because I mean like the way that you break it, right? You put it in like a cookie tray and yeah. then you break it with like a hammer. Like literally like a hammer. Kai shows up with the cookie tray, the individual bags and a hammer. <laughs> and he was like taking people's orders. How much meth did you want? I'm just, I don't you know. You brought two trays of crystal meth. Fake crystal meth. But... I'm what was going through your mind? Like like were you like oh like this will be cool, like oh this is gonna like help me like fit in? <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. I thought to fit in with this crowd I had to bring crystal meth. Well no, like my thing was uh, like everyone's drinking juice boxes and shit. <laughs> yeah, literally, like, like, crystal like, meth. Like like like, like, like roasting roasting you bring a pack of Capri Suns and I just like <laughs> I joined in for the pop low too, Joanne. <laughs> I got the meth. Yeah, shout out Joanne. Honestly, yeah, that's his mom. I don't think my mom knows how to use YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> she won't see that. But so you guys met at a campfire. That's I think that that's where because I remember the like the it was all dudes. It's a sausage fest, right? And then there was a point when like started girls started coming. And that's when you create a new friendship, a new friend group, and that started becoming what it is. It's not like we built like the hype house, but like it was just like <laughs> it was just like a social thing. No, yeah, I mean, yeah, bonfires are the best. It's a great way to meet people. Is that so? So so Nick was telling us he met uh, Chase, and like then they you know then like the hype house happened. Is that were you part of that or? Yeah, I actually. What was your like into the hype house? Yeah, like what um, the social media part, you know? Nick moved into our house. He got kicked out of his house. Nick called me. Awesome. Like, yeah, and he's like, I got kicked out of my house. I was like, I'm gonna stay with us. Okay. Yeah, stay with us. And were you Shit. living with Alex? Yeah, we had a house down in, like we all had a house together. And Carlsbad before we moved out there. Me, Alex, Cover, Patrick, Calvin, Papper, and me. And then Nick was like, yo, like I got kicked out, and I was like, come over. And he like set up all this shit, lived in our living room, like whatever. And then Chase would come to our apartment all the time. And like me and Chase were chill. And then he met Nick and like everyone was just like chill. And then I I, I, I don't know like exactly what happened, but then like everyone was just like, let's go to LA. And then we got an Airbnb in LA and then Nick was staying up here with Chase in an Airbnb. And then Nick calls me, he's like, come stay. And then we come and stay and we're like, let's all get a house. Like, let's just do it. And then like two weeks later, Thomas calls us, he's like, I got a house. Get off your lease, come to LA. And we're just like, okay. And that, and that was the original house, right? Yeah, and we dropped everything. We just like, everything, bought out our lease, and just dipped, packed it up. When, you, just, when you guys moved into the first Airbnb, like, who had who had followers at that point? Chase, just all Just Chase? Just Chase. What about Alex? Um, Alex had a little bit, he probably had like 250K, 300K on YouTube. Maybe on, maybe, maybe 150K on Instagram. Damn. I had, I had 12K maybe. Nick had like 2,500 on Instagram. Jeez. Patrick had the most. Patrick had the most? Like, Patrick out of all of us, besides Alex, had like 60K. And we were like, holy fuck, that's insane. Yeah. And how long ago was this? This was eight and a half months ago. Watch out. Well, yeah. So, I mean, so so we were all in college at this point, right? And we had like just seen like the hype house, like the hype house come to be. And we're like, what the fuck is happening? Like, you know, like, how are these kids doing this? I mean, you know, our first reaction was like what everyone thought was, oh, it's another, it's another team 10. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot bigger than that. Yeah. yeah. But that Especially was with Thomas being, oh, yeah. being part of Team 10 yeah. before. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. That's why it's fucking like, it's iconic. It's one in a million. I thought it was one in a million. That's why it's so big. It's why yeah. we're the first ones to do it. First, yeah. First real, like, the creators built it up. It's not like a talent agency picked the people and built yeah, this exactly. house. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, we're not signing with anyone. We had, I haven't signed a piece of paper since I moved to LA. 
Yeah, really. That's why I refuse to. Like, I'm not gonna. I respect that. So, so do you not need a contract to live? In no, we're friends. I, I knew Thomas for three years before, like, or like two years before that. Thomas came down there in his little red car with his ugly ass haircut at the time, <laughs> and just came down there to take pictures of us. He was a photographer. That's crazy. Like, he was literally a photographer. He made day to day vlogs that got a thousand views. Yeah, no, he made vlogs every day for like a, what is it, a thousand days. Yeah. But like the vlogs didn't get that many views. No, but yeah, it just he had, he had 120,000 subscribers and he got like 2,000 views. And he just like was, he was a photographer. He was day, his main flow of income at the time was photography. Yeah. And like that's all he did. And we didn't pay him to take pictures. He would just literally just come stay at our house. Like everyone from LA, because like I feel like the high house people are they're such like real people. And LA's not really used to real people. Right. And so, like, Thomas and Chase and shit would come down to our house. I didn't even, like, they were, like, little huddies coming up. Like, is that a fucking SoundCloud rapper? <laughs> <laughs> like, who the fuck's little huddy? Like, I didn't even have TikTok at the time. And then he's, like, oh, he's chill. He's some, like, famous kid. I'm, like, okay. He comes yeah. over. I'm, like, I can't get lit. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so, Thomas started in this position where he was taking photos. Now, I kind of see him as, like, the organizer of the high possible oh, yeah. way. So, did that happen? Like, it, it was a switch in what his role was in your guys' friend group? Thomas, uh, without Thomas, none of this would happen. I'm gonna keep it on 100%. Like, Dom is literally like his drive is just insane, and he doesn't take a percentage from any of us. He brings us brandos. Like he's literally the all-time joke. I fucking love you, Thomas. Like Damn. dead ass. Like Thomas like brought everything together. It's so sick. And I feel like in what we're building over here, we all have to be have that like thing that Thomas has to an extent in, yeah. in driving, and being successful, and building like a big brand here as the sink. Like, what is his shit that makes him so great? Is it like the work hustle? He doesn't stop working. Yeah, like he's he's a he's a workaholic. He's literally a workaholic. That's sick. He, he just gets up, just gets to work. Yeah, like he like he has plans. Like he does. Like if he has to go to twenty meetings a day, he goes to twenty meetings and gets home and says, "All right, I need to finish my vlog." Jeez. And he edits his vlogs himself. He doesn't have an editor. He edits his vlogs in literally twenty fucking minutes. It makes no sense to me. Jeez. Uh, you, if you watch him do it, it's, it's he's literally he's, he's a different fucking breed. It makes no sense. Mm -hmm. He's the coochie man. <laughs> <laughs> that is not the word I would have thrown in. Right there, but I guess that makes sense. So, so I mean, I, I've asked some other people that came on the show this. Like, when when did you know that you were like famous, right? And like, I mean, obviously, I feel like a bunch of people say like, oh, I'm not, I'm not famous yet or anything. But like, like when did you know that like you could make kind of? Because I mean, you're you're obviously make a trying to make, make a living. Yeah, you're trying to make a career for yourself off this, right? Like, when did you kind of know? Was it when you moved into the hype house or was no, it? No, when I moved into the hype house, my dad still paid my rent for the first like three months. Yeah, yeah. 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 My, dad's, my dad's a go. Respect pops. Yeah, thanks. But yeah, I don't know. I really, I still don't know. Yeah. I, I, it's like, you just kinda, yeah, you just do it. And see, I feel like that's, I don't know, talking about more of the people that are actually down here and that are doing this like, and it looks like it's for a living. There's more genuine people than what you would actually expect. Exactly. No, like that's the thing. Like when you say like you're famous, like once you get into that like kind of realm or like whatever the fuck you want to call it, it's like it kind of ruins it for you because it's like, holy shit! Like you look at these people like they're superheroes, and then you're like, around them, they're yeah. like they're just a normal fucking person. Exactly. They went to high school, like they just like. I mean, we we grew up watching this world all the time. Yeah, right? same. And then, and same. Then, but then you, we take, I did have moments where like this happened. We had one day off on Sunday. It was our first time since Mother's Day. I drove my car and you just like see these spots that you're in and I'm like, wait, this is what I wanted to do when we I was in high school. It goes for all of us. Yeah. And then you realize you're doing it. Like yeah. this is the shit you're doing. Oh, like my freshman year, I was like, I dropped out of high school and I was like, I'm going to be fine in life. I'm going to be good. I told everyone, I literally, you can ask any of my own, I was like, I'm going to be famous. You watch. That's crazy. Like I just, manifestation is a real thing. Famous so, in terms of like being a, like a actor or being like an influencer? Honestly, I don't even know. Like, I was just like, I'm going to be good. I'm going to be famous. I'm going to live in LA. I'm going to live in a big house. Like, I'm going to do that. Watch. It's crazy. And everyone's like, you're going to be a low life. Yeah, I've got the high school. Exactly, like, you smoke, yeah. like, you're just not, you're not doing shit with your life. Now everyone's like, damn, he's doing it. <laughs> Jeez, yeah, dude. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. If, I, I guess you proved, proved them wrong. That's pretty, that's pretty wild. Yeah. But we talk about, like, the friends back home. Like, the way that, way that you don't have to prove yourself to people, but, like, Oh, no, no. Looking back at the people that didn't think that you would be doing anything, this we've been making. I mean, no one really years. said that I wasn't gonna do anything. No. They were just like, they were just like, yeah, okay. But you know what they're really thinking at the moment that oh, you dropped yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. But like, I still love everyone from my hometown. Shout out Carlsbad. Everyone, I'm still good with everyone. I go down there and see everyone all the time. That's awesome. Yeah, what the fuck's up with Carlsbad? It used to be Ohio, right? Now it's Carlsbad. That yeah. Like Carl the biggest yeah. influencers now. Like yeah, Carlsbad. We are skater and surfing though. So. A lot of pro surfers and skaters come out of Carlsbad too. Yeah. Well, it's just because fucking 
eighty percent of Carlsbad's on social media. I swear yeah. to God, yeah, for real. Literally, I, Alex, Alex brought that there. Yeah, social media was not a thing. I didn't know that anything was, and Alex was the only one that had. He had like twenty k in our town, and everyone was like, Dude, "Just imagine you guys is like." 10 year like high school anniversary or something. <laughs> and the whole high school. No, like I, I dropped out of high school, so I don't get to go to that. But like, I, I want to reach out to the school and be like, yo, like, get me yo, in my class. Fuck you. No, like, I want to be like, get me in my class. I want to go back. Like, I want to be like, yo, what's up? Like, yeah. Oh, like, just come, like, you just get the high pass come in for like career day. Yeah. Just explain, like, this is I what mean, you can do. Show and tell. Yeah. This is my group. <laughs> this is my YouTube golden play button. Yeah. yeah. I'll just walk in looking homeless. Yeah. 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 Like, well, I'll just pull up like fucking my or some shit. So yeah. how did you stay connected in like the high school? Because I mean, if you dropped out freshman year, right? I mean, that's like three more years of high okay, school. Okay, yeah, yeah. See, this is where it gets funny because we we would drop out for two months, get bored, and roll back into school. <laughs> go go for like two weeks, and then drop out again, and then do the same. It was a routine. Who was it? Who else was it? Reading? Me and Nick. Me yeah, and yeah. Nick did this every fucking, fucking month. Crazy. If Nick went back, I went back. If I went back. Nick went back, and we would just drop out together and just keep going back, and then stopping and going back, and then just like it was like a literally routine for the next three years. That's awesome. I mean, like I have thirty credits to my name in high school. How many do you need again? And so what we need like a hundred. Oh, so uh, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. So for us, we only we needed like twenty four to graduate, but yeah. it's just different type of credit because. Yeah, that's yeah, that's not too good. Yeah, and, like a hundred. I literally was going to school just to hang out with people. Like it was <laughs> like I wouldn't go to first period. I'd get there at like ten o'clock and I'd just hang out. That's same here, dude. I mean, you talk about here. you knew you were going to be successful, but like the moments that you're not in school and you're at home and not doing anything, you know your friends are at school. I mean, did that kind of feel like shit for a little bit? Oh yeah, yeah. But then Fortnite came out. Oh, yeah! Yeah! My man's cracked on the sticks! <laughs> That's a joke. So then suddenly you're like, oh, this is my shit, I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, I'm just gonna chill. And Nick played it too, so like, if we weren't there at school together, we were playing Fortnite. The question is, do you buy the first the first season? Yeah, first I did. You had the Black Knight? Yeah, I did. Hey, let's go. Oh, yeah, he's an OG Fortnite. Let's go. That's crazy. And then when Kyle was saying like, hey, when did you know you're famous? This is when I think you know you're famous, when there's fan fiction written about you. Which I don't, do you know that there's fan fiction out there of you? No. <laughs> oh, dude, I got there something. I was like, it up. There's, there's people write chapters about like some fantasy world in which you, for some reason, take part in it. All right, yeah, this is for audio only, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's for audio only. But I mean, we're back. Um, we just, we just had a major fuck up on the sink. Yeah, we, uh, we just we lost, f- we lost thirty minutes of our actual audio. Um, but yeah, it was. It's a downfall. It's cheers, been, cheers to that. Yeah, I, I drink to that. No, I mean it, it's a massive nut punch, nut punch in the sink history, but it's all good. Uh, audio, if you guys are listening to this, leave a fucking review. We try hard for you guys. We uh, we're feeling a little shitty right now, but I guess this is a good intro to the podcast. Uh, if yes, you, you guys haven't heard yet, obviously, but uh, we got Ryland Storms on the show today. Woo! Um, Let's go. He's kind of lame, but oh. um, <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Uh, no, no, he's a super cool kid. Uh, we we literally talk with him for for 30 minutes about you know whatever like it was just it was going really well and um and we lost it so it's it's a total bummer uh but we are we are back we have audio we got another 30 minutes and we're going right into something we're going right into something ryland hasn't even heard about this the fan fiction i don't know how he has it i you can't be ready for what's about to happen dude i don't like i don't know anyone i don't know anything about like i don't i don't know <laughs> dude, fan fiction is wild no it's just fucking like ridiculous. it gets creepy so <laughs> Dude, I'm I'm curious to see how you're gonna feel about this. Okay, so so that's pretty good. So so this this is uh, fan- two two thousand people have seen this. Mm-hmm. Eighteen stars, bro. Eighteen, 18 stars. stars. Okay, Let's so go. all right, so so this is uh, this is called how Ryland and I met. I'm gonna feel a little awkward uh, reading this off just because I'm a fucking dude, um, but it's cool. So uh, so this is called how Ryland and I met. Ryland and I met at a public pool. <laughs> when I was with Calvin because Calvin is my best best friend since fifth grade. Calvin wanted me to meet his friend, so I agreed to it. Ryland and I became very close, and I caught feelings for him, and so did he. After nine months, Ryland finally asked me out, and we have been dating for almost ten months. Do you, do you know who this is Wait. right off the bat? No. You, so, so you're telling me this is fake? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's brutal. Here. After nine months, I've dated one girl in my life freshman year, and I didn't even know Calvin then. Okay. So okay, okay, okay. So so clearly it's fan fiction. It's fan fiction right off the bat. Okay, okay. Let, let's keep going. This is gonna get juicy. Continue the next part. First chapter. It's coming soon. What first, the fuck? You blue ball the fuck out of us. 
Really? You wait. Wait, she's wait. College finals? Wait, 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 wait. Which one did Kai pick? Wait, click on the next one. Wait, so that was a girl in college? Okay, okay, that was okay, that was a blue ball and a half. Okay, wait, scroll down this one, Luke. She had college finals. No, I know, yeah, yeah, you're you're clearly coming into her fucking circle on college finals. I mean, <laughs> if she lives in a sorority, hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. What school? What school? I don't know. Nobody knows. It's probably fucking like a community college. Um, so okay, okay, we're going to a new chapter one. So this is called Couples YouTube Vid. Uh, I don't live with Rylan, even though he is my boyfriend. I live on my own in a co- in an apartment condo type home. Rylan sleeps over sometimes, and we make a pillow for it. What and, and we make a pillow for it. He makes them because every time I do it, it falls over. Okay, so so you guys have a cute little a cute little couple thing going so you make on. Four together. Together. I'm not in pillow. fifth grade. Yeah. <laughs> You're not the, making a pillow for it. You're the you're the pillow fort maker because every time she makes it falls over. Okay, I'm showing go. up to your crib drunk as fuck at two a.m. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I don't got time to make a pillow. You have no time for a pillow fort. All right, so so Ryland is coming over to my house to help me record a YouTube video, and I want to do a Q and A couples edition, which seems like fun. Okay, so we're skipping to when Ryland gets here. While I was setting up the camera and lights, Ryland gets us some drinks from the fridge. That See, that sounds valid, right? Yeah, yeah. That sounds valid. Okay, right. that's, that's something you're going to do. Yeah. All right. Claws. Only, skip. Only, only lime white claws, though. Yeah. 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 Skip skip to when he gets the drinks. Ryland and I decide to move to a cozy area in the room and do a Q&A, which will be cute and aesthetically appealing to the video. All right. <laughs> so how do, how do you feel right now? I don't know. I'm very intrigued. I want to know what the fuck's going on right now. Like oh. back in your mind, you be like, "Yo, this fucking happened to me. Is this like true? Like, do you think this is true or not?" <clears throat> no. <laughs> like, how do people take time out of their day and just like? Because this is. I don't. I don't. I don't leave my house. First of all, yeah. if I'm, I'm not going to your house. You're coming to my house. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not. I, I'm not grabbing drinks out of the fridge. You're grabbing drinks out of the fridge. Like, <laughs> facts. Facts. Like, <laughs> no, no simp mafia over here. All right, so so let's go into the first dialogue that we got on the Ryland Ryland uh, fan fiction. Hey guys, it's awkward girl, aka Cora, here again today doing a couples Q and A. I said, "What's up, bitches?" Ryland said, "Hey, here, here, Ryland, why don't you re- why don't you read it?" Ryland said, "Um, Ryland, no swearing on my channel." Okay, first question: What happened on the first day? I said, "We went." To Red Ruff. <laughs> <laughs> Red Ruff and then got ice cream. Rylan said. What the fuck? Dude, you gotta continue to the next part, Luke. <laughs> in, the, in the story, the Sway House is already a, a thing. So this is before the Hype House happened. That's What's actually that? so clown. So she's not a real fan. Because yeah, Hype no. House happened months Wait, before, before Sway House yes. happened. I was just irrelevant at that time, so, so this you're is, fake. This is, this is the most fucking cap-ass thing I've ever heard in my entire I'm honestly life. kind of disappointed. The I fact thought, that yeah, she does Yeah, I thought it would be like, way more thought out. That's yeah. why this one only has three stars, and the other one had 18. Exactly. Yeah. Here, here, Lou, go to the next one. Right. No, 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 no. I mean, I mean, just like scroll down and go continue to the next part. Oh, God. Oh, oh, Whoa, sex. Oh, so for the visual viewers, <laughs> we have, visual we have, this is what uh, she's wearing. This is what she's wearing. Okay, so she's she goes to she's definitely Christian, a hundred percent. No, goes, it's definitely Mormon. That's a Mormon, oh yeah, yeah, Mormon something like that. I don't know. That's a Mormon fit, right? There. Yeah, honestly, I'm gonna yeah sells Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> okay, you want to scroll down a little bit, Luke? Right now. Anthony, aka Love Anthony, who wants me to come to the Sway House to see it on me. What? I'm on my way there and I get a call from Ryland. Okay, so the outfit. So this okay. girl is obviously going to content houses. She she wants to go see uh, Love Anthony, and now she's she gets a call from Ryland. All right, who's playing Cora? I'll read Ryland. Chris Chris has Cora. You got Ryland. All right. All right, ready? Hey, beautiful. I barely I barely can see. I have one contact in right now. All right, now. I'll run it. <laughs> so, you want me to run Cora? All right. Yeah. You gotta talk in a girl's voice. Oh yeah. Hey, Hey, beautiful. Want to come to my house? (laughs) Can't Anthony ask me to come to the sway house? But after I can. Okay, babe. Um, can we do stuff when you get to my house? Uh, What kind of stuff? Sex. (laughs) (laughs) No, but we can only do stuff like sex. Okay, babe. I love you. (laughs) You too, babe. Baby. (laughs) What? What to do? A movie night when you come? Sure, I have to go to my go to. I'm at the house, at their house. <laughs> English. <laughs> Speak English. What the fuck is this? 
this? Yo, chill. She's probably in like fourth grade, buddy. She's like English, <laughs> bro. She's about to, dude. She's about. So my, so I mean, so we'll we'll continue back to the story. But so these girls are clearly obsessed with you. Yeah, I mean, clearly, awesome. right? I mean, she wants to do stuff like sex. I mean. I mean, she's clearly obsessed with you. So, do you think that she'll see this podcast and like that'll like make her day, or do you think that we've roasted her a little bit too hard? I don't know. Thanks for writing about me, but stay in school because you can't <laughs> write a sentence. I don't know. <laughs> That's so so dumb. That makes her day, and this Burke just destroyed it. Yeah, what yeah. do you I couldn't understand what the fuck she was saying. She so has I, worse English than Berkeley. Dude, you're gonna ruin her life, dude. She's I, definitely. I, she's probably a fucking. 14 year old girl I, I i i respect you putting this out here to the internet and for us to report on it and like read on it to rylan but um have your mom like auto, put some like autocorrect on it and like, maybe, her like, mom i do not want her time. mom to see <laughs> but like but like, like or someone or, or english teacher maybe like someone no that, one else can read this bro this is literally her dialogue between her and so how like the, a diary so how the fuck did we find this shit uh, that's a super good question. So okay, so honestly, so, she's like somewhat like she has to be somewhat educated because exactly. she did like lines. Yeah, she does like yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, she did lines. She bolded so, it. She bolded it. All right, so all right, so Ryland's Ryland, Berkeley's Cora, and I'll be like the moderator, right? I'll be right, I'll be right, the voice right. in the back. Of her head. Oh, right. Fuck my bum hole. Testing. There we go. We're back. Uh, I hang up the phone and then went to the door and knocked on it. J- dude, this chick, dude, she she has all the fantasies. Mm. Jaden, Anthony, and Ryland all in one fucking story. Hey, Cora, Jaden said. Uh, hey, I said. After I went to find Anthony, he went and showered. Shout, shout, went and showed me. We decided to just hang out in the living room area. Well, it was about 4.30 p.m. I decided to go. Hey, guys, I'm going to go. Okay, thank you. Uh, and I said, okay, bye, Anthony. Everyone else was watching TV or making TikToks to s- or making TikToks to say anything. Oh, everyone else was t- too busy. Okay, she forgot a fucking word in there. Geez, she does need some English help. And then I turned on my car and called Ryland, and he picked me up on the second ring. All right, Ryland and Berkeley are back. Uh, right. Ryland and Cora are back. Um, hey, babe. I'm on my way to your house. Do you still want me to come? That's so <laughs> fucked up right there. I can't believe I just, that just came out of my fucking mouth. <laughs> But anyway, sure, but don't worry. I'll have you coming later. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see you at MIT. I'm kidding. I said, I said, okay, I'll see you later, Rylan. <laughs> okay, then. Bye, Ben. <laughs> bye. I love you. Bye. I love you, too. That's fucking hot as shit right there. That was the hottest thing I've ever heard you say. I'll make you come later. Let's go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sleek. <laughs> <laughs> After that, I hung up and went to his house. On the way there, all I could think about is what Rylan would do to me, making me wet. Oh my god! Gosh, maybe I will let him have sex with me. Nah, I'm not ready for that. Uh, if it goes, if it goes there, I will do it. I don't want to just go and ask him to have sex. I mean, I told him I didn't want to. Oh, so she's a this, yeah, this is a young girl. Yeah, this is obviously a young okay. Girl. Okay. Fans, this is all hypothetical. We yeah. we can catch a case for this, so for reading this out. Okay, skip to when Cora gets to Ryland ho- Ryland's house. Uh, I then went out of my car and knocked on the door. Hey, baby, ready for a movie night? Ryland asked me and said, Ryland asked while I was going inside. Yup, I am. I said, great, Ryland said. And then we walked up to his room. He took my shoes off. Mm-hmm. I took my shoes off and went on his bed. bed. So, babe, what should we watch? Ryland said, um, can we watch Shameless? <laughs> I Shame. fucking I fucking hate Shane. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, she's not a true fan. This what's your go? Of, what, oh no, come on. What's your go-to show or go-to? Go-to movie? show when I'm with a girl? Yeah, The Office. Office is always good. Like the I, Office. I, have you thrown on uh, Step Brothers with a girl? Um, girl? No, I don't watch movies because I get intrigued in movies. That's true. Uh, I've, well, I've seen The Office twenty times. I, well, so. I agree. I literally throw on. The if office if you're at my house, The Office comes on. Business is out. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, that that'd be a pretty. That's a pretty solid Tinder bio. Yeah. I feel like well, uh, yeah, like 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 I if you're at my house, the office is on. Shit's gone down. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I, I was in a relationship for three and a half years, and I I watched The Office many a time. Dude, I just literally throw that on and just go to sleep. Like that was my go-to. Like go night. to sleep. Okay, but like Berkeley goes to sleep. I go to sleep to The Office too. Though, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Like it's like a, it's a peaceful show to go to sleep is, to because you is. you're not worried about missing anything. Yeah, exactly. Right? Because you've already like, seen you can every single episode. Yeah, yeah I can't get past the third episode. And I love like the background noise. Oh, what is like? Are the background noise? A lot of my like, friends hate The Office too. I, I don't why? hate it. It's just like I like I don't get why? intrigued right away. Why? It's I don't so understand. Good. It's I also just skip the first. Actually, that's what it is. 
Yeah, yeah so everyone tells me skip the that. first four episodes it's not or something. Even that. Not even. Uh, no, yeah, it's not even. Uh, <laughs> this anime fool looking ass. <laughs> no, I, I, I love, love anime. I, I, exactly. What anime? Do you, what, what do you watch? My hero. I've, all right, I've watched Seven Deadly Sins, Hunter x Hunter. I've watched a little We're, bit of Naruto. Naruto we watched. We're watching. We started uh, Hunter x Hunter. Hunter x Hunter is hard. You've seen Seven Deadly Sins? Seven Deadly Sins. I've seen like a part of it. No. Seven Deadly Sins hard. They just came out with the new seasons. Pretty fire. Not Dragon Ball Z is where to go. No I've never watched Dragon Ball Z. I'm not that intrigued in That's anime. Crazy. I love the thought of anime. Naruto got boring. Yeah, I'm not gonna I lie. Thought it got boring yeah. too. Naruto got boring. But Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan is pretty fucking sick. Like it, it depends on like, like how far you start in though. I don't look for animes, but when my friends watch them, I get intrigued in them. Mm-hmm. Like I, I got Cover addicted to anime. That's funny. Cover's funny. addicted to anime. I love Avatar too. Avatar. Avatar's hard. Yeah, when, I have a fucking Oppa that, hanging in my room. That's you have that Oppa yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. Uh, little pillow or whatever, right? Yeah, and yeah. I have it's hanging off my roof. One of my brothers, right by a cloud. Shout out Callahan. He has like a little uh, Oppa fucking uh, onesie, and he has like the really? little Oppa head. That's oh, hard. It's fucking sick. That's hard as fuck. Yeah, it's hella dope. Anime's sick. Yeah, anime is fuck you, up. Kyle. No, but dead ass Angel hates fucking The Office too. I mean, I don't. I'll, I'll give it a chance, but I just gotta watch it with the right people. I no, guess. Angel fucking doesn't give it a chance. If I turn it on, he walks out of the room. He says it's the boringest shit well, the I've ever seen. Well, uh, Arrogant. One, the kid that I went to jail with, he loved the office. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Pause. You've been to jail? I have. What did you go to jail for? Dumb shit when I was 18. Yeah. yeah. Are you, you do you want to talk about it on the podcast? You don't want to talk about it. I um, mean, it's just d- dumb shit. It's yeah. on like like I literally it was a party. Just How dumb. it was stupid shit. I was in jail for three days. Uh, damn, but, that's wild. Were you like I I haven't talked like, to, I haven't really talked to anyone that's gone to jail before. <laughs> like I, dude, that that cop that pulled us over, like going to Euphrata, that shit was fucked. Like that we had, did they pull you out the car? Well, yeah, yeah, they they that's happened to me because uh, the only friends so, that I hung out with when I was in middle school and high school, my best friend was black. Like that's yeah. who I like. That's, that's my, him right there. That was my closest friend. The kid I went to jail with. That was my best friend. He's at my house every single day. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I would get pulled over all the time because I'm a, a young kid in a nice BMW in a small town. Yeah, riding around with two black kids. Yeah, and they're just they would pull me over for no reason all the time. So fucked. They would mm-hmm. pull them out of the car and they would just sit them down for no fucking reason yeah. and they wouldn't even talk to me the whole time they would That's pull fun. me over and they'd be like do you know what you were doing and i was like no and they're like right, suspicious the activities That's like, so like suspicious mm-hmm. activities and they would pull them out of the car and not talk to me the whole time check their backgrounds everything and then just be like you guys are f- free to go like That's what so like mm-hmm. yeah, we got like we got like, pulled so over with we, like we got so we were heading to like my dad's place in eastern washington and we got pulled over um sick. like when I, I had to fight my case for a year and a half that's crazy and I'm on, pro- I'm on probation right now. That's mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. Same. Just up? for a, 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 You're on probation too? You look like the motherfucker to be on probation. <laughs> 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 Podcast Lou. Podcast Lou. Shout out to Podcast Lou. It's, yeah. it's probation, brothers. Yeah. Um, so, so, so let's, I mean, yeah. So let's get back into the uh, into the fan fiction. The, the greasy, greasy fan fiction. Yeah. Uh, where, where were we? Uh, in the middle of watching Shameless, which Rylan doesn't like... I got cold, so I went under the covers and started heat. Ten minutes later, I felt his hand going up up to my knee, Ooh. and it stayed there for a few seconds. Then I started <laughs> going up to my thigh. <laughs> I looked at Ryland just to see him uh, just see him looking at the TV and smirking. Hey, can you give us a little smirk? <laughs> <laughs> Classic Ryland smirk. <laughs> Ryland then went up my skirt and started rubbing my inner thigh <laughs> and making me wet. <laughs> wow, this Jeez, is getting what the fucking bro? graphic. This bitch is either 14 or 28. Like, <laughs> yeah. Let's hope 28. Yeah. All right, with that being said, Rylan, how do you feel about your first fan fiction? Like, like, like you seeing your first fan fiction. Like, this is straight There is fiction. an entire... There is bitch, what? There is 15 pages on Google. Scroll all the way down of this type of shit for you. How do you feel about that? I, like, like I, It's crazy. Well, I'm, just, I'm, I'm reading a little bit more. I'm not going to say it out loud, but... Huh? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Huh? This is straight fucked. Bro, she's only 5'9. 4'9. Oh, let's say f- only 5'9. Only okay. she's only 4'9. Look how, at How do you know that? Go go down, last paragraph. Huh? Wait, wait, whoa, whoa. I don't even know, bro. Just this... trying to wear your shirt. Swallow Oh god. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, god. Kai, what the fuck did you find? Have you read through this whole fan fiction? It's fucked. Brutal. It's disgusting, bro. 
Yeah. Kai's coming yeah. back on. Uh, peace out. Well, holy fuck, my guy. Oh, that's, some, that's some creepy shit. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. How long do you think this... Like, this must have taken a few hours. Is that about the fan fiction I found? Yeah. How creepy is that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. Most, he's blown away right now. Yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> you don't know what to say. You don't, like, Google yourself or anything like that? No. Yeah, no, that was the first thing I came up with. It was, like, Hype House fan fiction. Thomas, Chase, you know, everyone. Ryland, Nick, Thomas Alex. Thomas has one? Oh, yeah. and they all got it. I couldn't even imagine Thomas having sex. <laughs> 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 they write I mean these are like essays you know like people spend time in class they get bored and they just go on this website and write articles they just write essays about whoever it whoever invented this website take it down dude. <laughs> yeah. Wat, Wattpad Wattpad Watt. I mean it's literally titled Being Ryland Storm's Girlfriend and they used the worst picture of me what sorry do you it? want to talk a little closer to your mic sorry. yeah they used a horrible picture of me what the fuck is this well, like, the funniest part is when they talk about, like, the dream house that you guys live in, and then they find Google images to say, like, this is what it would look like. <laughs> Dude, I don't even know what to say. He's, like, I mean, he's literally taken back right yeah, now. Yeah, I know. Ryland was hella talking before this. He's probably just thinking about what – he's probably going to go hit this girl up after this. No. Nah. Like, he's trying to have a good time. I'm about to delete all my socials, bro. Wait. Mike, Mike. Yeah, we're chilling. Yeah. Um, this is fucked up. Honestly, I, need, I mean, I need, if this I is what makes them happy, let them, let them, they can do them. They can do them. I mean, I'm probably not, I'm never going to fucking read I'm just waiting shit, for, a, I'm waiting for a Kai and Chris fan fiction, because I want to read that shit. Chris fan fiction would be the funniest shit in the world. <laughs> Please. It would do, Burke, all your fan fiction would be like, and then he was just, he was dating Dixie, then I came in and I just took over. That's that's, what it, that's cap, first of all, because. Uh, I guarantee that's probably what it would be. It would be. <laughs> yeah. It would be. And Burke, now that he just put it out in the world, and like, yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. Uh, yeah. People Burke, are starting on the rough drafts <laughs> right now, bro. Berkeley, you keep saying that we're captain about this Dixie shit. And it, like, we saw your reaction when Rylan called Dixie. Okay. You got red. Yeah, red but he was fuck. shaking. Shaking. <laughs> yeah, His yeah, table yeah. was moving a little bit, bro. Yeah, it was from another reason. Like, is this not, <laughs> was it not crazy to you guys as well? Or was it just me? No, I mean, it was crazy. But, like, I, I don't have, like, the, like, like Dixie's not, like, this, like, god to me. Okay, but she's not a god to me either. But I'm just That's saying, why like, you make all your TikTok videos about her? My god. You guys are fucking pussies. But like, how though? Okay, but I'm like, I'm. I'll make a TikTok. Wait, what did you tell me? What did you tell me the other day at Saddle? <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear it. I because I was I, I the first it. time you saw us at Saddle. What did I say? You said that you got pretty nervous. Oh, were they were they like, like going there? Yeah. Yeah. I got well. I get nervous as fuck. Like origin, like throughout because like it's just like everything's moving so fast, and I'm like what the fuck is actually happening? Like, what, what is the life I'm actually living? And I'm just like, what the fuck? Well, we, when we hit the clubhouse the first time, we switched drivers because he was so nervous to drive there. And Not trying to call you up. I'm just no, saying, no, like, no, he no. got nervous. He's like, this is happening so fast. I'm like, yeah, it is, but I can work a car. I know. It was fucked. Like, I got super nervous. Uh, oh, my God. Why? Why? Because, I, I don't know. I, I, I was like, I was, like, I was living in the moment, but also, like, I was living too much in the moment that, like, I couldn't like realize like what was actually going on, and I was like, "Dude, this is like I'm eating Ryan. I'm eating." Nick. Someone take I'm his eating. fucking cup away, bro. <laughs> 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 no, but he's gonna start crying. He's gonna start crying. He's like, crying out he's like, like fucking pussy. I gotta read Ryland's story. <laughs> okay, but, story no, but, me. You know, no. I was it's, so I read his fan fiction. And I imagined I was the girl. <laughs> Berkeley actually wrote the fan fiction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? So it's, Berkeley, yeah, yeah. You look at all of Dixie's Keep fan going. fiction. All the authors are B Homer, B Homer, B Homer. <laughs> Written three hundred twelve <laughs> fan fictions. I was, I was having sex with this girl last night, and I dude, I, I could only imagine. <laughs> I could only imagine the girls' fans fictions. Oh, if that's oh for God, me, bro. for like, yeah, bro. Low key, girls go way harder on dudes. They than, do. Like, like guys just say like the guys don't have the time to write. Guys just say like I'm gonna. No, guys aren't fucking smart enough. Guys are like I'm gonna yeah. beat to this later. Come on, you always <laughs> you guys always had that one weirdo in eighth grade that was the you know he was a motherfucker that would go home and type some shit up. So like uh, drama, band, dran, band or drama class. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's they—they they could either be that, or they're the—they're the person that when you run the mile, they're the fucking one trying 120. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, that's the worst. Guy. That's the worst. What was that case? Oh, oh, um, Michael. Oh, no, 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 uh, no, 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 uh, Justin. 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 Oh, Please, God. Justin. 
fucking kid in PE, he'd be like, yo, anyone want to like see me starfish? And he would yeah. fucking run full speed at the wall and just jump like bleachers, sideways. Bleachers. Jump sideways and just sprawl out and hit the wall face first, <laughs> whole body, and then just fall to the floor. Yeah. And he'd be like, that was sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I need to meet that kid. What the fuck? <laughs> no, dude, that kid was fucking on perks from dude, that kid started perks. <laughs> yeah. I swear he to invented God. perks. <laughs> he invented Percocet. Literally. Like future got all of his bars fucking. from Justin, bro. It's a weird fucking kid. Weird kid. Bro, what is he listening? Crazy? Yo, shout out. Shout out Justin. <laughs> Yo, if he's listening, I wanna send me a video of you doing a fucking start <laughs> Yeah, seriously. Fly y'all to LA. The starfish was mad iconic. That, hey, that, that'd be a good fucking vlog bit. Yeah, I'll fly y'all to LA. You do a fucking dope ass starfish, I'll fly y'all to LA. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. The starfish was something that you haven't ever seen before. I mean, it he was, literally invented so many things. That, like, it was wild. It was like a weird because he was like, yo, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this filming right now. And I was like, I bet. Take out my phone, I'm filming it. And he just goes, just fucking <laughs> flattens on the fucking bleachers. And we're just like, what the fuck? Sounds lit. It was. It was pretty fucking crazy. But he, he was one of those kids that would like just go hard during this, the mile. Oh, oh yeah. It's he the kids that take pre workout like, before he the was mile. Running like five forty five miles in fucking high school and shit. And in eighth like, grade, my teacher was a fucking bitch. <laughs> and shout so, out! Shout out! Eighth grade. Yeah. So like, teacher. I would not run the miles. I would yeah. walk purposely, and I started like a fucking trend. Like. <laughs> I, if I wasn't running the mile, then no one's running the mile. So if I'm walking, there's always that one kid, obviously, that's fucking full-blown sprinting. Yeah. But, like, I would walk, and so started out with two other kids not, like, starting to walk. Yeah. And then five other kids, and they would just get butter. I would just send to the principals every day for it. And then it got to the point where I just had to sit out the miles because— Hey, hey it worked. I mean, yeah, it that, worked. It worked. Yeah, I, I just I had to sit shoot. out the miles mm-hmm. because— Honestly, I shouldn't even be saying this because now some fucking kids are going to fucking yeah. do this. But, yeah, if you want to set out your miles, just don't fucking do it. Yeah. I fell PE, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take it take it from the freshman high school dropout himself. Yeah, don't, exactly. Don't, 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 don't run the miles. <laughs> did you actually, like, officially drop out or did you just, like, I mean, like, I, like, I, like, I, yeah, I just didn't show up, honestly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because we had kids who officially dropped out, and that was like I mean, like I officially days. dropped out because once you drop out for such a long, like like stop going for such a long period, they just unenroll you. Yeah. Uh-huh. So like I got unenrolled, and then when I tried to go back to school, they were like, "Yeah, you don't go here anymore." And I was like, "Oh shit!" Like I'm just bored and want to go back to school. And they're like, "Yeah, you don't have <laughs> enough credits to go here," so I had to go to like the school like connected to our high school, and it's called CVA, mm-hmm. and it's like people that like don't have enough credits or have bad grades go there. So I'm like with just literally all the fucking delinquents <laughs> in Carlsbad, and I'm like, this is my home. Like, yeah. I fucking yeah, I got, run. Like, home yeah, there. like I run this shit. Me and like my closest friends just went there, so like I was just like, cool. Like this is fun. Like, yeah. We just ran that shit. You literally, you didn't have homework. You started at eight thirty. You got out at one. Jeez. Like it was literally just like in PE, we play softball. Like that's, that's all awesome. we did every single day. Like we, it was like everyone like talk shit on cva but that shit was lit like, <laughs> like that shit was lit it was a like, hundred times better than actual yeah exactly day. and you still get a diploma like yeah i mean i didn't get one but <laughs> yeah. i mean but now like we kind of are like if you drop out that's fucking sick if you're doing some shit that actually matters matters but in the beginning you you probably had the feeling of what am i doing oh, especially yeah. like if you didn't choose to drop out you just show up and they tell you yo you're not even gonna graduate oh, from yeah, yeah no i had no idea what the fuck i was gonna do I had no idea. I worked at my dad's shop for nine months. My dad owns Big O Tires in Carlsbad, and I just worked there. I worked there. Well, I had to work there. Yeah, so you're trying to give me a deal on some new tires. <laughs> I, I can. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I, I will 100% hit you up for that. That would be sick. And then did it come to, like, was Alex started making videos, and you guys are like, okay. oh, shit, he's no, the no. guy. That- so, like, I hit up Alex sophomore year. I was like, yo, I want to take pictures. Like, I want to, like, try and get into some shit. And, like, he's like, yeah, for sure. Alex ignored me for the first two times that we hung out because I had a name in my hometown and everyone was scared of my friends and our group because we would fight a lot. Yeah. And so Alex thought I was going to rob him. <laughs> Alex dead ass thought I was going to rob him and beat him up. And I don't know why, but my friends were very intimidating, known for it. And then I, I feel like it's the, it's the beanies. It's the, the beanie, beanie gang, bro. It's not, yeah, it's not bro, even. The, dude, the rolled cuff beanie is a different vibe. I is, used to rock yeah. the roll. My hair was like down to here in college. I used to rock the rolled cuff beanie. And it's I don't a, know. I was just like the kid that, that was like the kid that dropped out, didn't give a fuck, party. Like, yeah. like everyone knew who I was. And our group, we had a group name called Wolfpack. 
and everyone knew <laughs> it. Yeah. And everyone knew what the fuck it was, and we didn't think anything of it. I literally just spray painted my the bottom of my surfboard one time Wolfpack, and then it just stuck. And everyone's yeah. like, "This is Wolfpack." That's and sick. then like the high school started a bunch of different groups, like all the seniors and shit. They had AOI, like SSDB, like there was different groups, but we started that. Like, yeah. And then so like Alex thought I was it's literally like, it's, it's like, Carlsbad yeah, gang yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, no, like, that's, that's what people thought. Like they were like they were like Wolfpack isn't that a gang? And we're like, huh? It's Wolf the gang. Wolfpack, bro. It's a, group of, it's a group of fucking white kids. Well, what were you guys as signs? We asked, yeah, we asked on signs. And What's shit? the U Dub one? The W. It it's was like, literally. Yeah. Like, it's like a <laughs> <laughs> we actually had a sign. Yeah, dead ass. Like we dead ass had a sign. We'd be like, yeah, Wolfpack. Fucking like fourteen year old kids, fucking surfer kids, just like yeah. Wolfpack. Yeah. Wolfpack's just getting absolutely barreled on fucking waves every day yeah. the weekend, and they're no, fucking like the thing, the running thing, fades yeah. at night. No, exactly. And the thing is, there was a, there was a actual gang in Vista called Wolfpack, and oh, so like shit. people, <laughs> yeah. so like people were like, "Are you affiliated with them?" Like all this shit. Like there was like a straight thing. Like our school knew who we were. Jeez. Like our school oh, was yeah. like, "You're a part of." Wolf-. Like anytime that anything happened, they would come up to us first and they'd be like, "Yo, was Wolfpack involved?" Like everyone saying Wolfpack, and we're just like, "Huh?" <laughs> Wolf. Rylan, there's something funny. I think you that you started idea. Wolfpack. And then you're part of the start of Hype House. No, no, they no, gotta no. be the two <laughs> most different yeah. shit ever. No, no, no. That's why it's <laughs> hilarious because was that your like Snapchat like group name Wolfpack? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Dead eyes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like it actually was. That's actually. I actually have WP tattooed on my leg. That's lit. <laughs> that's lit. That's lit. Hey, yeah. Hey, I mean, if it's something that you're true to, then that's what you gotta go with. That that's pretty funny. So. So, I mean, I guess at our high school, we there was never really fights breaking out or anything. Like, you know, our high school was pretty suburban, just like, you know. Yeah, you're not fighting yeah. that local tech kid. It was right. very, yeah, exactly. Like, it would be like fighting like a fucking, like, math nerd, right? Yeah. So, so what what actually goes down when you're getting into, like, fights and shit? All right, so, like, the first, like, I was never, like, I would, like, fight occasionally. But, like, I was never, like, a big fighter at the time. And then freshman year, all the seniors hated us because we come into their school Everyone knows what Wolfpack is, so they all know who the fuck we are. Everyone thinks that Ryland Storms runs it. I don't know why that's like the thing, but like it's because you were the first one. You were the first spray painter. Yeah, on the you're first. yeah. So like everyone's like the everyone's time. like, and then there's like, this group called PTC. These are all the surfer kids. I'm a part of the skater kids. Like obviously I surfed at the time, but I'm part of the skater group. And like I knew all the seniors going in freshman year, the skater kids, and these are all the surfer skater or surfer senior kids. That and like that was like a rival surfer and skaters. Like that's like a normal thing. Like. Yeah. And I, like high schools down there, like surfer skaters did not get along. Like really, yeah. Like that was like not a, like that was like a thing. Like and especially in our hometown. And what if somebody surfs and skates? Like <laughs> they, they all surf and skate. That's what doesn't make oh, fucking yeah. sense. But it just doesn't make sense. And we would we went in and one of the old one of the oldest kids, like one of the big kids, a water polo kid named fucking Mark or some shit. Of course, it's a fucking no, mark. no, 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 no. I, I like it's, it's definitely not a uh, mark, but I like refer to him as a mark. Mark's he, such a good name for a water polo. Kid. I forgot his last, like I, I, I forgot his name, but it's his probably last like name. Mark Johnson. No, was Mark right. Polo like not Marco Polo? Was like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, was like was water polo big in the yeah, same way like yeah. down up in Seattle? It's baseball. Yeah, but baseball is also oh, a yeah, big it's thing there. Yeah, 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 yeah. But water polo was a big thing. Like people played that in elementary up to high school. Like that was like a thing. But one of these kids hit us up and they were like yo like fuck wolfpack like all this shit like we're gonna beat the fuck out of you especially because all the older girls when we came into freshman year they were like yo like these kids are lit like and they hated <laughs> that because like these are the senior kids we're freshmen we're 15 years old 14 years old and like 17 year old girls are like yo these cool these like kids are lit like yeah. these kids are kind of cute like and so like my group being like the arrogant fucking delinquents we are this kid sitting there saying like fuck wolfpack like all this shit everyone refers to us as a gang so we're like fuck it let's act like one like like That's fuck fun. you like like what are you gonna do and then they're like all right meet here and like all this shit and we're like are we actually about to do this and like the kid that i i, I got in trouble with the one he was just like yeah fuck this like i'm gonna go beat the fuck out of this kid and i was just <laughs> like i was like are you sure like this is a big kid like he's like the size of me at the time like he's yeah. still like the size of me now like he's a skinny he's built like he's just a skinny kid never seen him get in a fight in my entire life i've known him for four years before this he's just like let's go and we pull up, we call all the skater kids because all the senior skater kids, <laughs> all the senior skater kids like fucking love me because I can skate. And they're just like, I'm just like, yo, we might get jumped right now. Like all these seniors are trying to like fight us. And they're like, we'll pull up and have your back. And they pull up and we just pull up to like the same place and like all the skater kids. And then there's like 15 like water polo kids and they were going to jump us. It was four of us walking up alone at first. And then all the skater kids pulled up perfectly. And LaJuan just- Did they, did they pull up on skateboards? No, they pull up and like they were the, like this is before we could drive. They could drive. 
They were Dude, the that, imagine how fucking like no, like, it would was be, dead ass a fucking how movie scene, bro. fucking like spa, like uh, what is it? Sparks? Yeah, what do they call yeah, like the nights that come and back up? Dude, the, like imagine how sick that would have been. Like it's like the slow mo footage, and then it's like all these dudes on fucking yeah. skateboards pulling up, yeah. and about to fucking run a fade on no, the no, skateboard like, cavalry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was wild. It was dead ass a movie scene, and we walk up and like we didn't even know what this kid looked like at the time. It was our first week in the high school. We didn't even know who this kid was. He literally called us off. One of our friends' phone numbers and was just like, Yo, I'm gonna fuck you guys up. And we we're just like, what? Okay, like, where? And then, like, we met at our <laughs> local park. And my my homie Luan walks up and he's like, Who the fuck's Mark? Like, cause he didn't even know what he looked like. And like, he's in a group of like 10 people and he's like, Yo, I'm Mark. And he just fucking cracks him. <laughs> <laughs> like, Luan just fucking cracks him, just beats the shit out of him for 10 minutes straight. Beats the Jeez. living fuck out of him. Like, a skinny little kid. <laughs> Beats the fuck out of this senior kid and makes him kiss his shoe. And I'm sitting there like, what? And I'm just sitting there like, that <laughs> savage is fuck. How big's Mark? Mark? He's a water polo kid. You swim in a pool all oh, day. Yeah. And he's a senior. Shoulder. He's been, play, he's been playing for fucking since freshman year. So water freshman polo kids are built like a lot. Yeah, he's a big they're, they're, they're Dorito they're shape, like, bro. But he's Dorito. never been in a fight. And he just yeah. thought he was hard as fuck. He's a big kid. He hits the gym, like all this shit. And he just, I've never seen anything like it. Like he just beat the fuck. Fuck out of this kid. <laughs> so 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 did his boys jump in at all? Or was he just like one no? On one? It was one on one. No, because everyone was like, "Oh, Mark's about to beat the fuck out of this kid." And like Lawan just beat the living shit out of him. Like it was actually like stupid. Like kids just gushing blood. And like we had to stop the fight because we're we're stoner surfer kids, so stoner surfer skater kids. And we had to stop the fight halfway through. Lawan threw up because he was so winded, and then kept fighting. Jeez. And just beat, like, it sounds so fucking, like, n- unreal, but it literally was like, that's what, like, it was just like, what? Yeah. And we would turn the fuck up after, but, like, <laughs> beat the fuck out of this kid. And then after Got that, late. we all became friends, and then, like, we all, like, we were the only freshmen a lot at senior parties, and then, like, that's the rest so, of the So, so you guys yeah. became friends with the kid you just beat the fuck no, out No, 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 that kid did not leave his house for six months. He did not, I did not see him. He did not, he, he just got his, this shit beat out yeah. of him by a fucking sophomore kid. He just won the respect of all his friends, though. They just yeah. all started joining. Oh, yeah. That's, that's crazy one of, one of his that's friends wild. that pulled up with him Dylan Landerville is actually one of my great friends now and that's like awesome. yeah have you Jeez. when's the last time you talked to that kid the the the, the dude Mark the Mark guy um I haven't talked to him in a long time I haven't talked like we're good like we're all chill but yeah I haven't talked to him since <laughs> I like since he got the living shit beat out of him I mean like I've seen him at parties and like yo what's up giving him a beer he's giving me a beer like whatever like that's wild see that we we don't have any stories like that right like yeah. it's like like oh that's home. nothing like we that. had a, exactly right but like those what like one We've never, fight yeah, we had a one real fight, fight part of the team. Jake, Lawyer, right? Jake Lawyer but he was not I mean Shout kind Jake of Lawyer, yeah we haven't had anything serious there's never a real fight going on you know what I mean and it's always just like yeah. I can't even think of anything I, I, I can't like we yeah it's not the same mm-hmm. It was literally, dude, there's just these, these, these select few kids that would, like, put speakers in their backpack <laughs> and, like, walk through the hallways. Yeah. That was the only game. Everyone had it. those kids. And they yeah. just bump, the, and they just, like, shit. bump music. And it's yeah. like, bro, no one wants to hear 6 yeah. 9 while walking through And they wouldn't look at anyone. Yeah. They wouldn't look at anyone. They're just... Yeah, 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 yeah. And like, like and their right foot would step, like, two feet farther than their, fr- than, like, their <laughs> yeah. left foot. And they'd have, like, a little... Yeah. Yeah. It was nuts. Fuck like, those kids. <laughs> I think like the the influencer that we've gotten to know the best has been Alex, and he's like a really like chill, calmer dude. So it's it's weird to me to, to meet all his friends on a more personal level and see how different you guys are. Because yeah, you're obviously so super different, but so is Nick, so is Popper, so is Patrick. Everyone. Nick yeah. was there that night. Oh, <laughs> really? really? Nick was there that night, and he was scared. He literally sat behind everyone. Like Nick, bro, Nick's, a, Nick's a teddy bear. Though. I'm Nick's not a, a teddy I'm, bear. I'm not a that's fighter, bro. That's why he has a chain. Yeah. No, it's, like that's like his thing. Like Nick's a big teddy bear. Yeah. I'm not a fighter at all, bro. I. But I will. I I really like talking shit. I don't know what it is. Whenever somebody pissed me off, I love talking See, shit. See, I, I I grew up. My dad. I was always moving. My dad was just like, if anyone fucks with you, beat the shit out of them. And I was just like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I'm like fucking like moving to schools. I'm in like sixth grade. He's like, if anyone fucks with you punch him in the face and i'm just like okay yeah see like yeah my my thing is like i i always love chirping someone up like if they do some shit that's like super dumb but like i don't i don't know if i'm quite prepared for the fighting scene of it yeah yet. like i i don't know if i could back it up okay but isn't that you know, exactly that's like having the bark but not the well, bite that's like, yeah, that's exactly. like I, mean, I mean obviously I, I, like if someone punched me in the face i'd fucking fight back oh uh, yeah i'd fucking kill someone but i mean it's just <laughs> more the same th- yeah it's just more like like in like a not fighting mentality. Do you have do you, do you have older brothers? Marcia? No, never. Like, okay. Do you have any siblings? Oh yeah, I have two sisters. 
Okay. Yeah, I have a my sister was basically a brother. I have a younger sister, bro. My bro, dude. There was a point where like I would fight my sister, like because she, she's three years younger than me, and I would like fight my sister, and like she was almost as big as I she's was. She's younger than you. Yeah. Right. And like I would just like beat the shit. My sister's my... three years older than me. My uh, sister would beat the fuck out of me. And... Yeah. Like like I would That's like crazy. I don't know. I would just like my sister would like make me mad or something, and I like trying to fight her. But then there was like a point where like I was fighting her. I was like in junior year, and she was in like eighth grade, but like she was almost as big as I was, right? Because like. You know, I was like five three, fucking, I don't know, like one thirty in junior year. No, no, this must have been freshman year. Yeah. Junior year, I was like, I was the same. You're about the same size I, as yeah, you are now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, though, there's a point. Yeah. There's like, a point where I was like, bro, I can't fight my sister anymore. She's gonna beat the fuck out of me. But then I, then I finally yeah. grew. But like, I, I, like, like, you grew I, up with brothers, and like, yeah. you always grew up as a different <laughs> breed of like, wrestler. I, I, fuck like, like, out of I grew up with like two brothers, and I would get my shit rolled. But that always made Berkeley the toughest. He would not always be the biggest, but he could like kind of beat you down because his brothers would be the shit out of him. If there was ever anything like going on with like my buddies and stuff like that, I would step in and be like, "What are you fucking doing?" Because like I know like everyone, I would just. It would, just be, kill it would be over. Just fucking I would kill literally just destroy I can still be. I can beat you in a fight now, though. No, because I'm not actually trying. I bro, it's I fucking crazy to me how I can beat you in a fight now. They always say this, but I don't want to actually like hurt someone. Because no, one I'm person, a teddy bear inside, but like, if you really, Are you guys talking about like what, boxing? No, yeah, just no, kind of like just, in general. Just, if you poke the like bro off, wrestling. Yeah, over. right. Like, there's a different anger in everyone. I mean, Chris right there, like, he doesn't get... We fuck with him sometimes, but, like, if he gets pissed, you don't want to fuck with him. Yeah. That's Angel, come, no, that's, I'll how, fuck literally, that's how Angel and Nick it. are. Oh. It's the like, exact same way. If you get Nick pissed, like, he'll literally lose his shit. Same with yeah. Angel. Angel does not get pissed, but when you do get him pissed, you're like, ah. Yeah, <laughs> like, relax. It's just, like, a different strength that comes out when you <laughs> yeah. get triggers. Same with, dude, even same with Thomas. Like, Thomas does not get mad about anything, but if he gets mad, I'm going to my room. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm good. Have you – okay, I, I, you might not be able to talk about this. Have you heard anything about him fighting, fighting Bryce Hall? Uh, he's not gonna fight Bryce Hall. He's not gonna do it. Yeah. No, there's no point. Why would he? Yeah, Tom, I feel like Thomas has a lot more to lose, and he has to gain in that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Have you like? Are are you are you in Bryce Hall show? Yeah. Yeah. So I, it's just it's just him and Thomas. That <laughs> I don't know. I just stay out of everything. I'm chill with everyone. I like everyone. Yeah. Yeah. That's what, that's that's pretty much what Nick said too. Nick. Yeah. It's. Yeah. Nick, I'm like, bro. I haven't heard your name in like the headlines of B for anything, and he's like, yeah, bro. Like, I'm I'm chilling. Like, I don't have any yeah. beef with anyone. I mean, no one in your friend group, like Thomas, Alex, Calvin, they all stay out of shit, just make content. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, it's yeah. the way to go. Except Thomas. Thomas figures out how to get himself into it. Yeah, but well, Thomas is like, like kind of he slightly. doesn't like it. Yeah. He doesn't like a shit on though. Yeah. It's. It seems like it's only just. Uh, Chase that gets into he Chase just, honestly has been out of the lot. Yeah, yes, he, he left his like mark, you could say, and then like now he's just chilling. Well, Nick was telling me that like his hesitation with joining Hype House at the beginning, he didn't want to be part. He he wanted to stay like kind of low key, do his stuff, yeah. not be part of all the headlines. And then now he's not. Now he steps yeah, back. No exactly. matter. Yeah. No. No. Fucking Lionel, <laughs> Lionel Hudson. He's way. Yeah, yeah. Why do you guys call him that? Fucking Harry, Harry, and our friend Chris, uh, Harry's roommate. They they just they're Australian, yeah, and they're just like Lionel, like they just started calling him Lionel, and so <laughs> and like so we call him Lionel when he's funny and like being chill, but whenever he's being a weirdo, we call him Chase, yeah, or Cole. His real name's Cole. Yeah, what? Oh, what? His How middle many names does he have? His real name's Cole, and then I'm pretty sure his middle name's Chase. Oh, yeah, let's fucking look this shit up. That's wild. That's funny as fuck. Yeah, Lionel. Yeah, so that's we like, call him Lionel Hudson when he's like, funny and chill. But like, if he's being weird, then we're just like, you're back to chase. That's what we call. That's what we call Lil Mosey. We call him Lathan if he's fucking, fucking being weird. Lathan, bro. Lathan, man. So weird, bro. Um, <laughs> dude, he's so fucking weird, bro. Man's looking like fucking the reptile from Monsters Inc. out here. Um, <laughs> yeah. What's that guy's name again? Randall. Brand- yeah, he, Randall. Dude, man's literally looks like Randall, bro. It's fucked. Um, are you are is so is Harry part of the hype house? Um, nah, he's just one of like he's friends with everyone. Yeah. Well, I saw him on cool Impulsive, guy. and he's like working his ass off to become bigger than like what is no, it yeah, hot yeah. or nothing or something? Yeah. Um, uh, too hot. To yeah, too hot to handle. handle. Yeah. That no, he's crazy. like no, he's he's really on his shit. Yeah. Harry's like really grinding. No, I just heard some like crazy shit went down between those two. Yeah, it did. I yeah. mean, like I don't really know exactly what happened, but like. Yeah, I don't know anything either. It says Chase. It just says Chase Hudson. It was weird because like. I literally watched that fucking show. Did you I watch know, it? So did I. I watched that show. And then no, I- no, no, no. I, so I watched that show, and then my friend calls me. He's like, yo, we're at Harry's house for pregame, and we're going out to a party. I'm like, who the fuck is Harry? Yeah. And they're just like, oh, he's on some show on Netflix. I'm like, okay, what? cool. And they're just like, come here. I'm sitting there debating if I'm going to come or not, and I'm just like, fuck it, I'll come. 
I come there. He walks out of his fucking gate. He's like, yo, what's up? With a fucking little Australian accent. <laughs> <laughs> he's fucking 6'5". No, no, he's <laughs> huge. huge. I'm already a little tipsy. I look at him. I'm like, are you a fucking D1 athlete? <laughs> yeah. Like, who are you? Like, uh, what are you doing living in this small apartment? You need a fucking house like me. Like, yeah. Like That's holy shit, fun. and he's just like, no, let's go, let's go get drinks, let's get <laughs> fucked up, and I'm just like, oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, That's fucking jokes. Man, he seems like a super cool guy. Uh, you like so pretty much early, like earlier, uh, you Facetime, yeah, early, yeah, earlier you Facetimed him, and it was just like. Bro, that's the guy from the Netflix show. Yeah. See, because we still aren't at that point. We haven't been in LA long enough to where it's like you just like like people just like pull up and it's just like wow, they're like here right now. Just boys. Like, yeah, it's from, weird. No, no, no. Yeah. I, I feel that. I mean, like I was new to it eight months ago. It's weird. I Whoa, yeah, seven days that. is not enough time to get used to like seeing yeah, random ass cloud of people. We've literally been here, <laughs> been here for like a week, right? A week. So like it's like yeah. especially when people pull up to your house, it's like crazy, bro. Like it's a whole different world. Like Dude, I don't, I don't you know don't understand you when you have anything everyone will come it True. doesn't matter like that's how la is and like if you have one person there then that one person is gonna invite that person and then that person is gonna invite that person in our case it was like one person invited 200 people yeah that's fucked. yeah, yeah no one was here then burke just goes I'm, I'm coming back with saddle and people are coming and then fucking everyone just showed up well, i was like <laughs> yes, in the sir. bathroom i was in the bathroom and <laughs> no, i come were- out Do you, yes, want to hear, do you want to hear the cap? Kai is a capper. Yeah, okay, so, awesome. so so we were at Saddle one night. I, I have to expose Kai really quick. We were at Saddle one night, and there were these girls in front of us in line, right? And I, I out of our eight-man team, I go up and talk to them. So they were standing right in front of us in line. I go up and talk to them. We're talking. We're, you know, we're just, we're just whatever. Kai goes into Saddle and then comes back out and invites them to FTB. And then Kai checks in our chat. Or text in our chat and he's like yo i just got four girls to come to the house and i'm like bro what and he's like bro like i just like went up and found these four girls in line like i just talked to him and like and i'm like bro you're kidding right and kai was trying to cap the entire night that he talked to these four girls invited them but it wasn't you <laughs> why do you have a straight face you pussy i'm just letting him finish okay because i'm obsessed right now what? i'm just letting you finish bro go Who for was it, it. Who actually me. invited them well, okay, so 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 he had the okay to invite them. Just so from, just, I mean, from, just yeah, from my yeah, but, side. But like, who actually talked to him? It was it was obviously me. Well, so, <laughs> so I was in line and we were all together. And Kyle started talking to these girls, and then I I left because I was like looking for a table. I ran into Seb there, and I ran into Berkeley over there. Yeah. And I wasn't thinking about too much about about it. I was gonna take a seat, and then Seb's talking to us. He goes, "Hey, who's in line?" And I'm like, "Oh, there's these four chicks in line." He goes, "Hey, you should invite them to Clubhouse." I'm like, "Okay, sounds good." And I went up and just said, "You can come to Clubhouse." I went back and said, "Hey, four of these chicks are coming," but I definitely did not fucking say that I talked to them. I give that all cap. to Kyle. I'm just saying, like, okay, then hey, that's cap. That's cap. Everyone got one test. Shit. Here's the deal. So, like, <laughs> Kyle comes out to me, and his whole thing is, well, he texts me, and he's, like, pissing the chat. Uh, part of it is he's also in line, like, fucking suckers waiting in line, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And he's waiting in line thinking, you know what? Oh, I'm in line. Kai's already sitting at his table. I'm like, look, here's all I did. I gave him the permission to come because you did not have it. The and you talked to him. The cap in this rap you know, right you know, now is so fucking it's so, it's, to me. It's this so is cool so when crazy It's so cool when you oil up a car. But, but when you turn the car, you turn it over, it's a different story. These girls did not think that you were it. They thought that I was it. They thought the rest of the team was it. They literally he, told me out of the oh, yeah, people. Well, he was the able to double five, I guess. The Asian kid sucks. The Asian kid sucks. I didn't know. I didn't know. The Asian kid is the biggest fucking capper on the team. And he's <laughs> such a bitch. And they told me, oh, we like you. We like the seven other kids on your team. Except that one <laughs> that Asian kid, Kai. The Asian kid sucks. He's so fucking cap. He tried to invite us. We thought he was creepy. Like, it's just oh, fucking terrible. God. Anyway, I, I don't, I, okay, I don't know what's cap anymore, uh, but I guess, I, I guess they thought I was yes. sucked. Uh, Thank you guys. All I was just trying to say is <laughs> I was confused by Kyle's initial uh, interaction because I really was not trying to make it seem like I fucking got you these chicks. You 100% made it seem like you got the chicks. Did he, did he make it seem like he yeah, got the chicks? 100%. That was, okay, but like, I don't, know, goes, I don't know how I would win in that situation because I was so obviously not was, right. Oh, wait, Ryland, Ryland. I literally tried Ryland. to just His say, text was, I got four girls to come to Clubhouse. I, 
Oh. Okay, but what I meant was oh. I got the permission to invite them to the clubhouse. I didn't make them want to have sex with me, which is not my fuck was not oh, my end goal. Not even that, that, in that we, situation. We're, 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 yeah, okay, but you're making okay, but you're making sound like I got I took credit he's for like, like getting these four chicks somewhat <laughs> interested. And like I'm saying like I'm saying like all, all, I didn't want to make love, it seem like I was trying to get guys. credit for trying to like for I, I did not want to make it seem like I was trying to get credit. I'm just saying like I got the permission to invite them and that's all I was like giving a shit about. But then I also realized, hey, when, now I sound like I'm just trying to like say that I got all this shit, which I didn't. But I also didn't really put too much stock into it's it. That's right, my guy. You got four Fuck girls. Fuck you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, I, all all love towards Kai. I, I was just giving I him a hard time. Piss. All right, so we just took a quick break and we're back. Uh, we want to kind of. This has been a fucking solid ass episode. No, it's been a fucked episode. It was it was going really well. It was That's going true. Awesome, and then fucking. Something lost, happened, but the conversation audio. was but low key, was we, sick. Loki, we did run for an hour and ten minutes we did. after that. Yeah, we wow. yeah. we kind of came back from it. We got we got to read some insane fan fiction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he still doesn't know how to react to the fan fiction. I don't. I don't at all. <laughs> I'm gonna say I found it, but I didn't read all of it. I heard there was some dude. It was got into uh, some yeah. read it. Literally read it. Scroll up. Scroll up. No, like. no, no. Just read that part right there. Okay. Um, f- oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> mm, faster. Rylan said moaning. Oh shit. That got. Wow. <laughs> we just every guess we have is a read your fan fiction. No, no, I feel like Rylan, Rylan's one of the few that's cool enough to actually take to, oh, yeah. to actually take it like a champ. Yeah, yeah. I mean, dude, I that's like this can make some people really uncomfortable. <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, that is really uncomfortable shit that was just said. Yeah, I mean, that second to last paragraph is insane. I wait, go up to the very top of it. Let me see how many uh, readings it has. How many people have read? I think it, it was like a two k, two thousand people. No, was that, this one was at like 1,400. Yeah, 1.9 thousand eyes. Okay, okay. Sweet. No comments, though. It's because That's a lot of people that fucking, read it. They're baffled. They Every, don't yeah. the fuck everybody, got post not, er, like, everybody got post not clarity after they fucking read it. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, I got to get off this page. Yeah. All right, it's been an amazing episode. We've had guests where it's literally dead silent the entire time. Actually? Yeah. yeah. No, it's sick when you can actually like just. That's Cap. He's just saying that. Just okay, but you, no, I mean, like, what it basically <laughs> means is like you say a sentence and they don't, they say yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. But you add shit. You got stories to tell. Um, you just did it right now. Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying, like, having all these people on, especially in Alex's friend group and the Hype House, everyone has, like, a crazy-ass story of how they got here versus just most yeah. people think that you just get picked and you just come in. Yeah. You build this shit from the bottom up, and people don't realize that, And I, I think, until, like, things like this. It's yeah. not a fucking baseball draft. Like, it's yeah, not. I mean, yeah, but it's it not. seems like I that. mean, it is. Like, right. for some people, it really is, but, like... For you. But for you, yeah. it's yeah. different. For you... You just, you started, just got started at T-Ball and you got to the fucking MLB. Yeah. I drank, I drank in an apartment and I drank until I was in a mansion. <laughs> <laughs> Still drinking. Yeah. I, I, I just thought that the one part that was fucking nuts was when you said you had like 11,000 followers eight months ago and when Alex had like, what, 200K and then, uh, was it, and then uh, Patrick had an 80K. That's nuts. That's yeah. eight months and that's like TikTok being nuts, obviously, but yeah. also like how crazy Hype House is and how great it's been for everyone. Yeah, it's actually, yeah. Yeah, For it's real? sick. All the way from Wolfpack to Hype House, yeah. it's been sick. I right. the gang, the, the gang, gang, dude. Right, hey, throw it up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the episode. Yeah, That's the thumbnail. Yeah. All right, it's been an amazing episode, guys. Make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell. Everything's gonna be on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Real quick, want to give a quick shout out to one of the people that review our podcast on Apple Podcasts. We hit a thousand ratings, which is sick. All um, five stars, baby. Keep all that five shit running. stars. Oh, yeah, that shit running. Five star podcast. Okay. Number one podcast. Number one entertainment news podcast in the fucking yeah, United fucking States. In the pulses. universe. Fucking pulses. And we got featured on Anchor today yes yeah Woo. and we fucking can't keep mic audio i know <laughs> I, yeah it's been crazy we just surpassed joe rogan uh and so, no. <laughs> not quite though but how crazy is it? We're, the, we're the number one entertainment news podcast in the fucking world and we can't keep fucking mic audio i know it sucks yeah, yeah if you guys get asked to come on sync don't come <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hey, that's so tough. But I, people are still coming. Yeah, <laughs> it was sick. Real quick, a huge shout out to Juciani who says, uh, "Wow, I want to say they're underrated, but they really have five stars." And you can't forget Chris Eagle Simp. We really appreciate it. Woo! Make sure to leave your reviews. Also, if you have any problem pers- personal issues, email us at the Sync Podcast One, and we'll maybe review it, go over it, give you some uh, therapy real quick. But it's amazing. Anything, Ryland? What is like 
coming up? What do you want to promote? Like, what, what's linked down below? Um, I got merch coming out this Friday, and I go got get a YouTube it. video coming out this Friday. Let's go. Let's go. Follow yeah, him on Instagram. I'm sure you'll hear all Sync, the updates there. The Sync needs some merch from Rylan. We, I got you. I'll send yeah, you guys a yeah. package. Yeah, package. Yeah, it's got my mug shot on it. So. Uh, <laughs> that's lit. That's lit. I will literally wrap that 100. That would yeah, be so sick. That would be sick. All right, it's an amazing episode. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out, guys. Peace, Peace out. Gang. Woo!